name is Dan Hammer. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, what foods can you eat that contain L-arginine and L-citrulline? I'll also be doing a follow-up video that addresses the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through food or supplementation? So, let's get started on the first question, and to do that, we need to go shopping at one of my favorite places, Whole Foods. Grab your jacket, and I'll see you in the car. We're in the parking lot of Whole Foods and it's a blustery day today, so let me share this with you. When I first started coming to Whole Foods, I was lost and overwhelmed. I understood conventional grocery stores, but this was a whole new experience for me. I highly recommend organic foods and I'll explain why a little bit later, but let me give you two tips if you decide to venture into Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's store. Tip one, start with replacing common items that you already eat or drink like skim milk, butter, eggs, cheese, chicken. It helps you ease into the transition. Tip two, ask for help. The people who work here are very friendly and extremely knowledgeable. With that said, let me get the items I need for today's video. I'm stopping at our local Jewel to pick up a couple items and do some price checking. See you in a little bit. This is my local health food store where I need to pick up some items for our next video where we're going to answer the question, is it better to get L-arginine and L-citrulline through food or supplementation? I'll meet you back in the kitchen where we'll pull this all together. I'm back, so give me a couple of minutes to set up the food and then I'll show you not only the foods you can eat, but also the amount of food you need to consume to get a therapeutic level of L-arginine and L-citrulline into your system. All right, I'm ready to go. We're going to look at the food choices that will allow you to obtain the amino acids L-arginine and L-citrulline into your body so that your endothelial cells can produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your cardiovascular system. Now, most research indicates that you will need to obtain 5 grams of L-arginine and 1 gram of L-citrulline to have a therapeutic effect on your body. So I'll be showing you both the foods and the quantities you'll need. The amino acid L-arginine is easier to obtain through food than L-citrulline, so let's start with it. If you Google foods containing L-arginine, you will see dairy products listed as a good source. I'm going to show you that this is your poorest choice. While milk does contain L-arginine, it is at such a low concentration that for me to obtain 5 grams of it, I would need to drink not just 1 gallon of milk, but I would also need to eat, drink 3 quarters of the second gallon of milk. Not a very good choice if you're lactose intolerant, plus the number of calories is a factor. If you drink skim milk, you're looking at almost 2,500 calories, and if you drink whole milk, then the calories jumped over 4,000 calories and 220 grams of fat. So milk is out. Eggs are a better choice, but I would need to eat a dozen. And they can't be fried, boiled, poached, or scrambled. I have to eat them raw, yolk and all. I think I'll leave that to Rocky Balboa in the Rocky movies. So, what food contains the highest percentage of L-arginine? Surprisingly, peanuts. Not only would I need to eat six ounces of peanuts, but these six ounces contain 918 calories, 70 grams of fat. Not necessarily a good choice if I'm trying to manage my weight. Here would be my three suggestions for the best combination of calories and fat grams. 12 ounces of beans. Now this can is a 25 ounce can, so I would need to eat half of this can. It would be 338 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. Or I could eat 10 ounces of tuna, which is two cans, at 538 calories and 18 grams of fat. Or my personal choice would be 15 ounces of a chicken breast at 563 calories, 8 grams of fat. Now, let's address the food that you would need to eat to get L-citrulline. I put aside all the L-arginine food and will now show you the one food that has the highest concentration of L-citrulline. It's watermelon. It really is your only effective food choice. And I would need to eat 1.7 pounds of watermelon to obtain one gram of L-citrulline. And I would need to eat both the red fruit portion as well as the rind, since the rind contains 60% of the L-citrulline. So I would need to eat from here to here all of the watermelon. So if you don't 
want to eat the rind, then you'll need to eat about another one pound of watermelon, which would mean you'd have to eat all of this. Now, for those with sickle cell anemia, we also talked about the need for folic acid to help your bone marrow produce red blood cells. Everyone has a need for folic acid, but unfortunately most people do not get enough folic acid in their diet. So, let me get set up for those foods that would give you 400 micrograms of folic acid. It's recommended that adults get 400 micrograms of folic acid on a daily basis, 600 micrograms if you're pregnant. I'm only going to show you the quantity of food for 400 micrograms. Now, I like bananas, but I would need to eat 20 medium bananas to get 400 micrograms of folic acid. Remember the eggs from our segment on L-arginine? If I added another four eggs for a total of 16, I would be able to get five grams of L-arginine and 400 micrograms of folic acid. But again, I would need to eat them raw, not cooked. Or I could eat 16 slices of whole wheat, almost the entire loaf. I like peas, but I would need to eat four cups, which is two bags of peas. Raw spinach is one of my favorite foods, but I would need to eat six and a half cups of spinach to attain 400 micrograms of folic acid. Finally, I could choose a fortified cereal like Total. Just one cup of Total would give me 400 micrograms of folic acid. In our next video, we're going to look at food costs, and calories so that we can answer the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through food or supplementation?